Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 14b in the Lewis series, where we're going to be continuing with player data and network values, except per request. We're going to be doing an experience system on top of the leveling system. So now we're going to be adding things to player stats right here. We're going to instead, if, if you're very confused at this moment, please go and watch the last tutorial so you know what's going on, otherwise you're not going to get this. So we're just going to simply replace the level and XP right here, and we're going to be doing the same thing right here. That way we can save and load XP in addition to the level. Now, right here we need to go to init. Alright, we're going to go to init, and we're going to say print XP on top of that. We're going to be using a diff different method, but I'm going to keep this here just for now. Um, so we're going to print the XPs. Now we need to, a way to identify, we don't need it, but it helps a lot to have a way to identify what's being printed in console. So we're going to say level. And remember from last tutorial, my level is like around level 16 or something like that. So we're going to do that, we're going to print, and all that fun stuff. So now, if the player has no XP, we're going to add XP. If the player does have XP, we're going to load the XP, essentially. That's what's happening. That's your quick little recap. So the next thing we need to do is to make a method to actually give the player XP. So we're going to say function player stats add XP. And we're going to have some value in, which is going to be the number XP that we're going to be adding to the player. So we need to now set the network integer XP to what the current network integer XP is plus the additional XP that we got from doing whatever we just did. Okay? So then you're going to say if, and you're going to have to put two number right here, or else there's going to be errors that happen. So we're going to say self, get, and uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to copy and paste this. because it's Not fun to type over and over again. Anyway, so we're going to get that XP, and we're going to do a conditional check and say, is it greater than 99 XP. So let's say we need 100 experience points to level up. So we're going to use greater than 99 to represent that. So this is going to be essentially what our um, our limit is for the experience before leveling up. And then we're going to say another condition and, and because we have to make sure that we're not going above the maximum level, this is where you're going to be setting your max level. So you're going to say get a NWN level and is it less than the maximum level, which we're going to say is level 10. Then we're going to be setting a local temporary XP. And this is going to be so we can carry over XP from the previous level to the next level. OK, so we're going to say experience minus the experience is that's required to level up to the next level. So if you're at 100 experience, like if this get nw int xp is 100 minus 100, no experience is going to carry over to the next level. If there's 110 minus 100, that's going to leave 10 experience to go over to the next level, and so on. So now we need a method to level up. So we're going to create another function. And that one is going to be called stats level up, not up, up, lowercase p. So now we're going to say self set p data xp to zero so we're setting the player data on the server itself to zero now we're going to do another conditional check based on the level because we don't want the player's level to go above the maximum level so we're going to say if it is indeed less than 10 then Actually, you know what? This is kind of redundant. We don't need to do this because it's already here. And so obviously the player is not going to be greater than level. That's just a security check. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to actually instead make a sound which occurs when the player levels up. This is kind of like a little bonus feature. You don't have to do this, but I think it's nice when you do. So this is a good sound. You can find other sounds in the sound list that I will provide in the description below. And then the next thing you want to do is to increment the level. So 
we're going to say level, and we're going to say self get mwint level. Well, always capitalize the first letter, folks, not the last letter. All right, so, and then we're going to increase it by one. So, essentially, all this is doing is resetting the XP, playing a sound, and adding a level. So now we're going to say self stats level up. So I want you to take notice that it's different than when I'm calling the function here. I'm saying player because it's references player, but here we have to use self since it's referencing player through this means of a meta table. All right. So we're going to do that. And then the next thing we want to do is set the nw int which is XP to our temporary XP. So this is our leftover XP, which is getting added to the XP over here. Okay. So simple enough. And just so we can show that a level up did occur, we're going to print in console level up. Um, let's say you are now level then we're going to get the nw int level so we're going to say get nw int level right here with and then we're going to get xp xp okay so you are now x level with y XP. Okay, simple enough. All right, so now after this, we need an else if. So we'll say else if, and then we'll do another conditional check where it's essentially saying this again. So just going to copy and paste and save some space and some time and all that fun stuff. So if it's actually equal to level. Then self set nw int xp and we're going to set it to our maximum xp. And if you're doing like an xp bar in a hood or something, this is going to ensure that the experience stays or the experience bar stays full at all times. All right, so that's everything that we need right here. And now we just need to actually call this function and add some experience. So let's say every time a player takes damage or something like that and it's the world or whatever or just or actually you know what how about we set it to something even better how about we set it to every time the player dies and we're going to give them experience points because who doesn't like watching players die. So, I know, so morbid, so sadistic, right? Uh, holy wire mod, how could you? Alright, so we're going to call then the stats add xp, as you recall from this, it's called, that's a lowercase xp, not uppercase xp. And we're going to be adding, let's say every death will give you 70 experience, or how about 55 experience. So when we level up, we're going to have 10 experience left over. Okay. So let's go in game and see what happens. All right. So now in game. So at this point, let's look at the council. And it says that I'm level eight with zero XP. Now off the screen, I reduced my level to something below 10 or else it's going to cause error. None of this is going to work because it's never going to meet the if statement and my XP is just keep, going to keep rising. So uh, there's also an extra S here behind level. So that's going to cause an error. If you noticed that before, that's awesome. If not, that's how you get rid of that. So let's uh, go kill myself real quick and we'll see what's going on. So I kill myself, go check. And I didn't level up. Now I'll kill myself again, and here's the level up. Now remember, I gave myself 55 experience, so that's why it took me two deaths to achieve over 100 experience. So that 55 times 2 is 110, 
and minus 100 is 10 experience carried over to the next level. So now it says level up, you are now level 9 with 10 XP, and that 10 XP is the one that's left over. So now let's kill myself two more times and we'll achieve maximum level, and we'll see what happens. So go here, kill, so I have 65 experience, and then I kill myself again. And now I'm level 10 with 20 experience, right? Woo, isn't that awesome? All right, so do it again. And now I'm at 20 plus 55, which is 75 experience. And now I kill myself again, but notice now I don't level up because I'm at the max level of level 10. So if I go here and rejoin, go here. So as you can see, all this uh, works very well. Now if I rejoin the server, it's going to load my level and it's going to show an XP of 100 instead of 120 or 100 or whatever because it's going to keep this value at a steady or a consistent constant value. So I joined the server and now it says right here in the console level 10 with uh, 100 experience and that's going to confirm and solidify that everything is working just fine. So that's going to conclude everything on experience and leveling systems. I mean, you can add so many more things to this. You can add stats, like I said earlier in the last video. You can add so many different things. But um, if you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.